We know the last few months have been crazy and that everyone is tired of being stuck at home. With so much time spent indoors, one of the most obvious trends is homeowners improving their outdoor living space. We're going to discuss six deck patterns that can save you money on this episode of Timber Tips. I'm sure you're wondering, how can a deck pattern save you money? The short answer is by using shorts. Most decks are built with 16 and 20 foot length boards, but these boards come at a premium price. By using shorter length boards, you can save up to 25% on decking, sometimes more if you're using a hardwood like Epe. That means on an average size deck, you could save over $1,000 by using shorts. So, let's go over six tried and true deck patterns that can save you money. Pattern number one, transition board. Want to keep it simple? Here's a subtle twist on the traditional deck pattern. By using a transition board running perpendicular to the rest of the deck, you can break up the monotony while using shorter length boards. This pattern is also perfect for creating separation between different areas of the deck. If you're looking for something more interesting, try using a different colored product or stain for the transition board. Here's a tip for the transition board pattern. When using a framing span of 16 inches on center, use two transition boards and you won't have to change the span in the middle. Simply place bracing where the transition boards will go and they will cover the span, leaving a slight overhang for the perpendicular boards. Let's see how the pricing stacks up for the transition board pattern. Pattern two, the picture frame. Take the transition board pattern to the next level by adding a picture frame around the edge of the deck. By adding a little extra framing, you can create a custom look for your project while saving money in the process. Using a different colored product or stain for the frame is another added touch. Here's a tip for the picture frame pattern. Using two transition boards with two framing boards can bring uniformity to the deck and looks great. We recommend cutting the picture frame corners at a 45 degree angle. Just don't forget to add an extra brace under the joint. Here's how the pricing stacks up for the picture frame pattern. Pattern number three, patchwork. An expanded version of the once popular parquet flooring, this patchwork pattern cannot be more perfect for using shorts on your project. With a little extra framing, this pattern creates a unique look, especially on decks with large surface areas. If you're feeling creative, use a different color product or species on some squares for added pattern options. Here's a tip for the patchwork pattern. Board widths vary between product and species, so before you create your framing for the squares, measure the width of your boards. This way, you can frame the squares to fit a set number of boards exactly. Let's see how the pricing stacks up for the patchwork pattern. Pattern number four, herringbone. The herringbone looks like a chevron pattern, but it requires fewer angled cuts. By taking the short boards and placing them at a 45 degree angle, you can create a stunning look that will set apart your project. Don't forget that placing boards at an angle requires you to shorten your framing span. Here's a tip for the herringbone pattern. Along with shortening your span to accommodate diagonal boards, you'll need to double or triple up your joists at each joint to add stability to your deck. To ensure your pattern looks uniform, frame the deck first, then measure and cut each deck board as you place them so they fit correctly each time. Here's how the pricing stacks up for the herringbone pattern. Pattern number five, chevron with transition board. You may have seen a deck with a chevron or angled pattern before, but adding a transition board opens up a whole world of possibilities. The transition boards make the pattern options endless while still allowing you to use shorts. Carry a chevron across the whole deck or use straight boards in some sections. You can also choose a different colored product or stain for transition boards for a truly custom project. Here's a tip for the chevron pattern. 
The same principles apply as the basic transition board pattern, but you'll need to shorten the framing spans to account for diagonal boards. Let's take a look at pricing for the chevron pattern. Pattern number six, the ATX pattern. If you're looking for more of a challenge, this might be the pattern for you. Our experts at Timbertown have designed a one-of-a-kind pattern using only shorts. Drawing from the eclectic roots of our hometown Austin, this pattern is sure to drop some jaws. Perfect for large commercial or residential projects, the ATX creates a seamless pattern so it can cover any size area beautifully. Use a different colored product or stain for the center inserts and you've got an outdoor space like no other. Here's a tip for the ATX pattern. This deck pattern is not for the faint of heart. We recommend only experienced deck builders take on the ATX. For those brave enough, remember the framing is heavily dependent on the deck board width, so measure your decking before building the frame. Let's see how the pricing stacks up for the ATX pattern. We'll leave a link below to our deck patterns guide, and be sure to let us know if you end up building any of our patterns. If you found this video helpful, subscribe below and check out our other videos. And we'll see you next time on Timber Tips.